This is rough. There's somebody in the woods with us, man. Right away, me and the kids, we just... Look, that's a path, dude. See it? That's a trail. I think. Maybe maybe just a wash, but it's... Yeah? Well, that's where we'll head back, then. It must be a backpacker from Metal Lake. But we gotta be careful, because there are wild people that live in the woods out here. They never go. They just live in the woods. They eat off the land. They build shelters out of straw. This is a path, dude. Look. That's what he was on. This is the path out of here. We take this, we can go straight back up. But still, I don't trust people. I don't know the guy. And it's kind of primitive back here, so I just decided to cut down. You know what I'm saying? He, he, kind of he's probably freaking all the branches breaking. Yeah. We're back on the main trail. or This is in no main trail, but it's a trail. It's primitive. The lake, if this goes to the left, the lake's right here. So we'll get to see a part of the lake not many get to see. Yeah. All right. Be back with more footage. It's your founder, Paranormal Ghost Society, Lord Rick. We're on the hunt for a Sasquatch, America's rock ape. Look at this, dude. It's like a freaking jungle through here. Look at it. What kind of trail is this, man? I've never seen a trail like this. This is Bigfoot country here, man. These narrow trails overgrowing. It's like a jungle. Look at that. Jeez. You and I, we see some crazy stuff on our adventures. Friggin' found a homestead in a mining operation in the middle of the woods. That, that cabin's old. Yeah, this is going to the lake, dude. This must be the lake trail. Well, there is no lake trail. There is animal trails, and there's a few wagon and mining roads, but this one's not listed anywhere. I think this one's some offbeat thing that not many know about. Look how narrow it is, and it's heading straight to the lake. We did good. We did real good. Well, it was, why would I turn back and go a mile back uphill? I just kept going downhill and figured we'll just cut to the lake if we have to. Shortcut. And it's easier. Wow, the lake's right below. The basin, i seen it through the trees, so I know. We're almost there, guys. Our hard work's paid off. We've hiked through the woods down a mountainside, in a ravine, through a mining operation in Old Homestead. And now, we're about to see the shores of Fordyce Lake. Find some Bigfoot tracks. We're not anywhere near the public area. This is more offbeat and primitive. Give us our best chance of locating some Sasquatch tracks today and physically sizing them up. I'm going to get a few pictures. Oh, yeah. I told you guys we'd be at the lake soon. Look at that. That's a big lake. It's just a small section of it. Oh, okay. Woo! Isn't it? Dude, this is a lost paradise. Rascal, you ready to go for a dip? I told you guys we would do this. I wasn't kidding. Tammy would have been all freaking. Oh God, it's abandoned. Oh, oh, somebody might be here. I don't, I'll just stay here at the uh, road entrance. You can't do that, dude. I'm not gonna hike a mile back. I'll just cut through to the lake. I'm not hurting nothing. I'm respectful. I'm respectful. I'm just here to cover a little history. Look at that lake. Holy shit, dude. Lake is doggone huge. I guess it's more mileage. You got to count for the switchbacks. There's a dam, Forsyth Dam. Look at that. You have more lake on the opposite side. And it's split off by that huge rock formation. Wow. It's a phenomenally large lake. He took the hard way. You're crazy, dog. Rascal went like straight down the rocks. I guess having four legs makes life a little easier, doesn't it?
That's pretty. Can't wait to see it up close. This is kind of hard to hike on. Roll your ankle on this. You're going to be hurting for days. I've already rolled my ankle once. Well, we're at Fort Ice Lake. Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, this is a small portion of it. This, it goes all the way about a mile to the left. It goes around the other side. There's an inlet where there's more like on the other side of that peak. And then you have on the other side of the dam the outflow. And that massive canyon. You want to see a mountain? There's Old Man Mountain right there. See Old Man Mountain? Look how much the lake is going. It's supposed to go up to there. See those barber things? Uh huh. That's what it's supposed to go up to. Yeah, those are the buoys. Yeah. It's not even that high. Yeah, it's very low. What was that? A guy screaming from across the lake. Is it? Yeah. What do you guys want to do? You want to go up on the dam or what? It's way far. Look how steep it is. Yeah, we can't get up there. Well, what you know what you do is you go over along here. Yeah, we can't get up there, Dad. Well, that's why you got to follow the woods around. No, right here, man, on the peninsula. Uh, let's go. That way I can get a whole shot of the lake and not like just this, the go. dam area. Yeah. All right. Just be careful walking down. Yeah, the rest of the this is all supposed to be underwater, man. It's not, though. <laughs> Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. Old Man Mountain. It's a beast. Up there is Phoenix Lake, nestled up in a little... It's like a little uh, bowl shape below the summit. It's one of the higher lakes in the Sierra is actually one of the highest, I believe. Besides Mount Raymond has Crater Lake, which is at over 8,000 feet in the Sierras. It's pretty nice. Good boy. He's cooling down. He's enjoying himself. Come on, buddies. Get some of that fresh, pristine water. Decide not to go to the dam. Which is okay with me. Because honestly, the view is much better from this portion of the lake. There's no muddy shores. I can't check for tracks. But I do have... Later on, if I have time, I'll hike out to a couple hidden ponds. And those are very muddy areas. There would be some tracks of some kind, even if it's just animal tracks. There's nobody up here. We heard a weird noise. The sun said it was probably a guy across the lake. I don't see anybody. I don't hear anybody else. It just sound like a woo. -hoo. It was somebody or something creating the sound. About as close as we'll get to Old Man Mountain today. Huh? Oh yeah, it's Old Man Mountain right there. Look. It is a monster. It's a beast. You just go up the side where the canyon is and go to the top. Hey, Daddy? Is he swimming? He's getting a little carried away with swimming. He's been going up to his chin and shaking off and drinking all the water. Save some for the fish. Oh, wow. It's a pretty peak. Fort Ice Lake. Three is good. It's better than none. One more. Oh, and I got it on film. Yeah. Nice. Sweet. A blue crab? Must be a freshwater crab. The ones Tammy was talking about.
Or is it a crawfish or crayfish as some people call it? Crawdaddy. Pinchers? Oh yeah, crawfish have pinchers. They look like a lobster. Do they look like a lobster or a crab? Huh? Is he in there still? Woohoo! Some Fordyce Lake scuba diving from land. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, yeah brother. There's crabs and other sea creatures. Oh, freshwater sea creatures, right? <laughs> well, it's a big lake. Sweet. Check this out, everyone. Besides the layers of geology from the millions of years of rock, I can't even see the end of the lake. It starts to curve to the left around that cove. Look at that. It also continues around this mountain, which splits up the lake right here, the reservoir rather. And you have Old Man Mountain overshadowing. It's a pretty cool place. It's totally worth coming out here. It's one of the hardest to get. It's one of the hardest lakes to get to, so you can understand why for us it's such an important lake to visit. Not good for Bigfoot tracks. The whole shoreline's rocky. It's like I said, it's a reservoir. This is not a natural lake with muddy shores. It's probably been filled at some point. I don't know the history. The dam holds the water back, and it continues to move on. It goes from Meadow Lake to Fordyce Lake and then it spills down behind Four Dice Lake through that canyon. Wow, it's cool. It's pretty cool. Are you ready for this? You gonna go swimming? No, I'm gonna go under. Go for it. Yeah, man. One more is good. Yep. Snap into a Slim Jim. <laughs> I don't. Do, I can't do it as good as it. Snap into a Slim Jim. Uh, yeah. Oh, it exploded. Good thing I didn't film that. <laughs> Here we go. Try this again. Snap into a Slim Jim. <laughs> Snap into a Slim Jim. Oh, <laughs> Snap into a Slim Jim! <laughs> Snap into a Slim Jim. <laughs> oh my god. I should try to do the Randy Savage one, you know, and get it a little close. Snap into a Slim Jim! <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah. Snap into a Slim Jim! No, it's not like I was taking a shit, no. That's not gonna work. Take two. Okay, I've had enough. Now here, I got one for everybody here. Watch this shit. Watch this shit. Okay. Aliens have landed at Fordyce Lake and they told me that I get a free ride to space if they anal probe me. They want the dog too. See, see ladies and gentlemen, we have Tammy on the other end. And this entire trip, she hasn't spoke to me. 
It's all static. Well, I'm sitting here and told her that earlier, I've been keep telling her, aliens are landing, they're abducting me, they're going to anal probe me, just making wisecrack jokes. And she responds. I hear her voice, and she says something to me about being crazy or whatever, whatever. I heard it was kind of broken, but I heard her, and it's kind of strange. You start talking about alien probing, and now she wants to talk to you. You know what I'm saying? Because I told her. I was like, aliens are taking me aboard their ship. Basically, it's they're going to take me to space. You're going to see a little zzz, blip of light through orbit. And that's it. You'll never see me again because I'll be at the planet, planet Wazoo. And I'll be an experiment. They'll try to clone like a million of me. Because they'll be like, we need that strong line of paranormal adventure here on our planet. We need a million of you. I can't even stand one. People can't even stand one of me, let alone a million of me. You know what I'm saying? It's like the, It's like uh, people, people don't know how to deal with me. They're like, you're too much. So they're going to create too much of me is what they're going to create. And that's not good. You'll have a million Lord Ricks like climbing mountains. You'll look at a mountain and see five different Lord Ricks going to the top. Five Lord Ricks. That's what I'm saying. A, a whole army of them, a million of them marching. We will assimilate. We will find Bigfoot. We will. We will. And they're all calling on the radio. We are about to be anal probe, Tammy. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? She doesn't want to hear nothing. The whole hike, she doesn't reply. But I mentioned a beginning abducted, getting a ride to space, never seeing me again after they're going to anal probe me and return me as is. And she responds. Amazing. It's amazing. The irony. The irony here. F4 Dice Lake. Serious, man. It's a dude. I've been telling a dude I've been getting anal probe by aliens, man. Oh my god. I don't even believe in God and oh my god. Oh my god. Sorry, I was just joking about about the anal probing. <laughs> just to let them know. We better hide our radios, dude. You know what I'm saying? Because we're get, if we, it, they'll be like, that's the guy, that's the gayfer and shit, you know? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. About slapping his Slim Jim on the radio. <laughs> oh. All right, it's photo family photography time, and then we're going to climb out of this volcanic canyon. All that shallow looking wreck. Okay. Dude, if that shatters and hits me in the eye or breaks my glasses, we're gonna have it skip when it hit the water. So what if that was my eye? It'd go right through my face, wouldn't it? Like a bullet. Yeah. yeah. If it's skipping, if it comes off here and starts skipping, you put a hundred pounds of like force on that, man. Jeez. Good times, teenagers. What fun. <laughs> You know what? Now that I think about it, now that I think about it, that was the forestry that I was told out UFOs are landing and I'm being abducted in anal probes. Now they're probably sending out helicopters for search and rescue right now. They are. They're probably coming for me. We're gonna see a helicopter. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna look up like I'm busted by the, like the popo man with my hands up, like like I didn't do nothing, man. I didn't do nothing. Not good. Look, they're talking again. I need to put my foot in my mouth. I gotta stop pressing the button when I'm talking about, aliens, about UFOs and aliens. It'll take me to the loony bin. Not good. Alright, it's getting windy, dude. I gotta go. Folks. There's like three people on the air now saying, was that you? They're asking if it's you, if it's you. They're trying to figure out who it is, and it's getting clear. And they're like, we're searching for them on the main road. We don't know if it's forestry or whatever, but I was just joking with Tammy, my girlfriend. She's back at camp, not feeling too well. I just, you know, go like with the kids. And have a good time. Keep it to the radio through. And, uh, you know, I was just joking with her, and now we got like, there's like a couple of stuff, you know, looking on the main roads and that. 
this and that, so I may run into some people who are like, you fucking proud of radios? Who knows? Who knows? Shit happens, right? I guess people need to lighten up and grow a sense of humor. We're going to be taking some family photos. We're going to look for some tracks on the way up. And we're out of here. We're going to climb. We're going to climb Hartley. We're going to climb Hartley Butte. Hartley Butte, man. We're going to climb Hartley Butte to the top, which overlooks Meadow Lake. It's one of the first places gold was discovered, which created a mini Comstock of this region. A lot of people don't know that. But yeah, there, there's some people that are kind of like looking for us or looking for wherever talked on the radio. And now they're like, we're looking, we're looking, good luck. We're not on any main roads. We're in the middle of nowhere. Good luck finding us. We're more elusive than Bigfoot right now. All right, guys. It is on. Yeah, good boy. With my little pet American Bulldog mix. Good boy. Good boy. Like remnants of an ancient temple. This area, millions of, year, millions of years old, has created a very beautiful paradise that you see between glacier activity, carving out these valleys and basins, creating lakes. And then you have, and these look like columns from an ancient temple. They're so symmetrical. Like I said, like pillars lost in time due to an ancient war. We're heading out of here. Things are getting crazy on the radio. People have nothing better to do. People need to lighten up. I'm out. Peace. Boys are going to get us out of here. I'm going to take the back way. Leaving Fort Ice Lake. We gotta climb out of this beast. Look at that. It's a very rough wilderness back in here. This is the Tahoe National Forest. We're not even near Lake Tahoe. Lake Tahoe is just a, a small part of what the rest of the national forest is. Look at that. Freaking mountains and cliffs everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, check out that tree. That's sequoia size, huh? Jesus. We're going to go under it right now. The winds are picking up, so when I go to the buttes, I may not be able to get very good videos. I'm sorry, folks. Weather can change very quickly out here in the Sierra Nevada mountain range. It can snow tomorrow. Well, we have the eclipse, the blood moon tomorrow. It's going to be a super moon, and it's going to be gigantic, and a nice red to an array of colors. It's going to be a treat. It's going to be its original in its making. All right, heading deep into the Tahoe National Forest. I'll see you on the other side.